Day One Society unveiled five new youth detox beds on Monday, intended to address the increasing number of youths seeking recovery and support for substance use issues. The new Interior Health funded beds are located in a separate wing from the 20 adult beds at the Society's Phoenix Center located near Royal Inland Hospital, where youths will receive specialized care. The toxic drug supply, we, we as a as a community, as a province and as a nation keep talking about it as though we're going to solve the problem and I think that that's a hopeful thing but it's not something that's solvable in the immediate future. Really what we need to do is put our heads down and continue to apply all types of strategies and increasing beds like these is one of those important strategies. Now we've seen an increase so we're seeing upwards to 15 percent of people coming through for detox are ages 24 and under. The new beds are separate from the adult beds to provide tailored and personalized care for the youths. Youth have different needs. Their, their detox is different, tend to be more social um, than a lot of adults that are detoxing in particular, but they also, their symptoms are different, um, their needs are different, their privacy needs are different. I just think in general what we've been just saying, that, that we're so excited that it's overdue, that we are you know, boots on the ground ready, and that we're, we're um, hopeful for making as many connections as possible for all the people that need to come through here. The five new beds are intended for youth under the age of 24. However, people between the ages of 19 and 24 may be moved to an adult bed when appropriate or required. Day One Society says the new beds will also allow youths to receive care faster and will free up space in the 20-bed unit for adults. For Cassinet Kamloops, I'm Josh Dawson.